Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Psalm 40, verse 13 to 14, and it says, Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who seek to destroy my life. Let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor who wish me evil. I repeat, be, be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me, O Lord. Make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who seek to destroy my life. Let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor who wish me evil. Now, I want to divide the scripture into four parts. The first part says, Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. So here, the psalmist was asking God in prayers, in supplication, to be pleased to deliver him. He was beckoning on God to be pleased to deliver him, to make haste to help him. That God should help him speedily in his situation, to bring him out of a situation where his enemies were after him. So he said, then the second piece said, let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion. That means let them be ashamed. Let all their plots which they have plotted come against them. Let all the traps which they've set for him enter their legs. Said, let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion. Who seek to destroy my life. So he's saying, let them be ashamed. Let them be brought to mutual confusion. Who seek to destroy his life. Let all their plots and all their plans not come to pass. Let all they have put in his path not come to pass. Because God was a deliverer. Because God was hastened to help him. God was hastened to protect him. God was hastened to bring him out of a situation whilst he, the enemies were in the state of confusion. They would, they would continually be confused. God was able to help him. God was able to protect him from every situation. Then the fourth bit says, let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor or wish me evil. So David had enemies who wished him evil. David had enemies who wanted his downfall, but the Lord was with him. The Lord was always guiding him and protecting him. So, so let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor who wish me evil. So David um, wished all his enemies who wished him evil dishonor and let them be driven backwards. Let their plots and their plans not come to pass because I follow God, because I'm pleased with God, because God is pleased with him, because God will deliver him, because God will deliver him speedily. And therefore, all that the enemies has for him, all their plots and their plans and their conspiracy will not come to pass because he worships God. We shall worship God because God is a faithful God. God is a God of truth. Now, I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelation or knowledge, that we will be able to walk with it and run with it, that ultimately God is able to deliver us speedily from our enemies. God is able to put shame and mutual confusion in the lives of our enemies and all those that want to destroy us, that God is able to drive them backwards and let dishonor, dishonor and continuous dishonor continue to be their portion. All these are asked through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening. And God bless, God bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.